Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Secret History. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Nine thousand five hundred years old obsidian bracelet created by machining. The fragment of an ancient artifact was discovered in 1990 during excavations in Turkey. Even then, a part of the alleged bracelet interested many people because it was very well processed obsidian. As a result of some research, it was found that the fragment of the bracelet is made of obsidian, Mohs hardness 5 to 5.5, but the processing and level of polishing is striking, even for our time. Yes, it is still not granite, but the age is officially set at 9500 years. But according to the official history, people back then had practically nothing, let alone any machining. Roman concrete. Concrete is what we think of as a modern invention. However, this building material, or at least its ancestor, has been around for centuries. The Romans added volcanic ash pozzolan as a binder, which reportedly made concrete more durable. While modern concrete is designed to last 50 years, ancient Roman concrete lasts more than 2000 years, often underwater. Although the technology for making concrete, including with additives, is well known, no one knows the exact combination of ingredients in the Roman recipe. One can only keep experimenting, trying to achieve the same result. The size of the prehistoric flora and fauna was many times larger than today's flora and fauna. In the photo, is a stump, to which even the word gigantic would not be enough. The poor thing does not give up, but the modern shoots of this colossus seem like a small blade of grass against the background of a huge base. It is in America that the most strange stump-shaped mountains have survived. While we are persuaded that these stumps appeared due to the weathering of rocks, those same mountains brazenly begin to give sprouts. Underwater Stonehenge In 2007, Professor Mark Holy, an underwater archaeologist at Northwestern College of Michigan, found a structure made of stones at the bottom of Lake Michigan that formed an even circle about 12 meters in diameter. The structure was estimated to be about 10,000 years old. On one of the stones was found scratched out image mastodons, a relative of the elephant, which became extinct about 10,000 years ago. What this construction is, scientists have not yet figured out. What do you think? The underground mysterious city of Daring Kai. The deep well city goes underground for 65 meters, in contact with groundwater. On each tier, there is a huge system of ramified passages and labyrinths, which allowed the inhabitants to establish a life with minimal dependence on the external environment. There were living quarters for 20,000 people, halls for meetings, schools and chambers for religious studies, churches, and also various warehouses and storehouses with large stocks of food, weapons arsenals. The underground city even had its own production, presses for pressing oil. There were premises under stables where sheep cows and horses were kept. 
The city was designed so that locals could easily navigate it, while outsiders, on the contrary, were confused. No one still knows what made the locals build the structure. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In the Turkish Museum of the City of Antakya, stands a statue of the Hittite ruler, King Supalulium. Its peculiarity lies in its unusual inset eyes. Exactly the same technique was found in the statues from Easter Island. Just a couple of decades ago, archaeologists discovered parts of the Moe's eye, which must be inserted into the eye sockets of the giants. The mystery is that the same manufacturing technique originated on different continents, with Easter Island being an extremely isolated place. In 1922, in the Sedazero area on the Kola Peninsula, a group of researchers, a Barchenko, stumbled upon megalithic structures and other traces of an unknown civilization. There is a magnificent trail leading to the lake across the Tabola. Or rather, a wide passing road, it even seems to be paved. At the end of the road is a smaller eyes. Everything suggests that in ancient times, the grove was a protected area, and the hill at the end of the road served as a kind of altar. The expedition of V. Demon came here in 1997 and confirmed the presence of ancient buildings, including an observatory surrounded by cyclopean stone walls. Why is the scientific world silent? Because the buildings have traces of the impact of a glacier, and the last glacier melted 10,000 years ago. There cannot be on the territory of Russia developed civilizations that are older than all the civilizations of Asia and Africa. Does everyone know where is the largest megalith officially discovered? It is located in China, in the Yanshan Quarry, and the monolith weighs 16,500 tons. If you think about the size of such a stone, there are many questions, many of which have no answers. And by the way the 16,500 tons, although a little, but it was moved, the only question is, how? At the moment, there is no equipment that can move even a meter of such weight. In the same quarry by the way, there are two more megaliths, 6,500 and 8,000 tons. How all of them were cut out in the quarry, and then moved, a mystery. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.